Hani people, like most of the Chinese ethnic minority, don't have a distinct physical appearance as the Uyghurs. But if you pay closer attention, they are still very much a culture of their own. This is called Jianzhou. Pick this up. Wu Yan Guo. Here, and he's gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It is actually. <laughs> oh. There is an old saying in Chinese: "It's better to travel ten thousand miles than to read ten thousand books." I think that's the truth. That's even better than the truth. Reading and learning about China and politics has given me some advantages in life, but there have been many moments where I felt I was limited by all the things that I have yet to be reading. The truth has been that I have become bored with the idea of engaging with the Western media, narratives, or the idea of defending myself to people in a constructed culture that is meant to sustain the argument and the fight. I, at this point of my life, have grown out of that. The important thing is. I could not resist the desire to be out again on my own, enjoy being single, and observing the world. I know will teach me more about life than anything. I still have so much wide-eyed curiosity to be satisfied, and I'm desperate to be in touch with a reality which books and academics will never be able to teach me. I want to connect with real people, real Chinese people. Our first stop, fresh out of 2023, is Yunnan. That is a no-brainer. I've chosen Yunnan first because I've travelled there once before and knew I'd always come back. And second, Yunnan is an important place to understand China, to experience its cultural diversity and its colourful charm. Now, far away from Kunming, I have arrived at Hongke County, ready for a new adventure. Honghe is a small county hidden deep inside the Ailan Mountains. The county lies on top of the mountain hills, and there is an old caravan city where people who used to trade in southeastern Asia had built their homes. The Hani and Yi minority, the majority of the population, have lived here autonomously and preserved a unique tradition for thousands of years. Truly, as what we like to say, Shan Gao Huang Di Yuan, the mountains are high and the emperor is far away. I've traveled enough in China to have understood one should look beyond the surface beauty. Sometimes, beneath the beauty is the problem of underdevelopment. China is still a vast place, so I always try to let go of any expectations and just focus on connecting with locals and understanding who they are and the environments that they were born with. <laughs> Fusha,对,不是睡的。对啊,佛山禅城。<笑> 这里没有茶花I was told that the government actually have a lot of welfare policies for the locals. However, a lot of the local Hani people don't really understand Putonghua. So this megaphone is basically to inform them about the laws, about the local policies, and what to look out for if anything new happens. So this megaphone is what we're reporting uh, with both Hani language and the Putonghua. This is the place where I met Jen Zhou and his colleagues, the good local Hani folks who taught me a lot about this place and whom I got to be friends with during my time in Hongke. Is it 
们红河以上这个地方呢，我们有一个说法叫“马背上驼来的山城”。最早的时候，我们就是这个地方呢，呃，这些所有的东西都是从国外，比如说像缅甸、越南、老挝这些地方，从马拖过来的。所以说，我们有句话叫“不通国内，通国外”。来，给你一杯，尝一下我们这边的柠檬汁。谢谢。但是我们是李董。没有事，谢谢。你们喝我喝了，你们喝什么？没事，有的，欢迎啊。好，谢谢。I've encountered so much such kindnesses that I decided every time I receive a gift, I would always pass it down to the next person. I've given this to Jenjo. They were also filming that day. Once Jenjo and I got to talking, Jenjo opened up to me quickly. If you remember the earlier conversation I had, like a lot of Chinese people coming from the countryside. Jian Zhou has spent the last 15 years in Shanghai, in pursuit of better opportunities and wealth. This is what people have been doing, as the wealth gap in China are still pushing people to concentrate in bigger and wealthier cities. His father encouraged him to never return. Honghe villages, his father said, are a place where no ghost will ever visit. He started off as a small waiter to a manager, then moving on to uni working part-time, to finally running his own restaurant and buying his first property. Now he has returned to his hometown to help people do the same. He said that attracting talents to turn home is the current strategy of the local government. I like his energy and admire his spirit. Honghe needs people like him. Honghe food was alright. I just remember having one thought as I was receiving and giving toast. In my humbler moments, I see myself as someone with no great talent or significant achievement. But if there's one thing that made my life my life, it would be I'm always curious about people. Men, women, too old to walk or too young to speak. Attractive, not attractive. Sometimes my curiosity can be very probing. But for some reason, people never seem to mind that and are always happy humoring me. I count that as my share of luck. Good morning, everyone. Jianzhou was really kind. He offered to give me a lift and show me around. And now we are currently at the markets, and we are about to check out the market and gan gai. Gan gai, 对，我们叫赶集。好，走。Come on. 哈哈哈哈哈。六块了，四十块了吧？那，呃，米线米线。哦，哎呀，老朋友聪明哦，聪明，他肯定哎，我多拍几遍了。哎，下次错了嘛，可以，阿不够多嘛，那边，哎，那我看到嘛，乖。Honey people, like most of the Chinese ethnic minority, don't have a distinct physical appearance as the Uyghurs. But if you pay closer attention, they are still very much a culture of their own. 啊、so this is called shu hua, which grows on a tree. It's very rare. People pick that on the mountain. The honey people usually use that in festivals. <laughs> 介绍这个叫我们云南的这个水椰头。然后我旁边的这些爷爷呢，他每天只要是干完活，就必须要先来一点这个。呃，这个呢是我们比较传统的一个水椰头。我自己呢，烟不会抽，但是我今天获利试一下。哈<笑>非常过瘾，但是我不敢再吃。这个就是我们哈尼处的这个自己染的这种做衣服的这个原始的布料，然后只只能是有两个颜色，这个是蓝色的，可能要稍微年轻点的人穿，这个是比较。盛装点的时候，我们会穿。然后只能像这个，嗯、呃，这个帽子的话，我们是姑娘嫁出去的时候是要戴这个帽子了。如果没有嫁出去的话，我们是只能戴个头巾那种
，啊，所以这个就是算我们哈尼族最原始的做衣服的这个布料。For Hani females of all ages, wearing traditional clothes is still a way of life. The bold use of shapes, colors, and accessories, in resemblance to the harmonious coexistence between people and the environment, represents Hani's admiration for nature. I've noticed the Chinese often find inspirations in agrarian lifestyles, in which people become self-sufficient, worship and adapt to their own environment, as opposed to nomadic that constantly seeks the change of it. What makes this environment so deserving of such admiration? The answer is the Hani Rice Terrace, now with a history of more than a thousand years. So this is the trees that we grow, the shu hua, the tree, everything grows in the mountain. It's literally amazing. The farmers gouge a hole there so that when they catch the big fish, the fish can reproduce. The fish babies won't be eaten by the ducks. Jian Zhou had me film his singing in the middle of the terrace. The song was in Hani language, written by him and his friend. It's about a son's melancholy of coming home and honoring his aging Honghe mother. The lyrics are simple. But the simplicity perfectly represents Honghe's character. This place is pure, and people's hearts are pure. This is called Jianzhu. Pick this up. Wu Yan Guo. Here, and he's gonna. Good. Is it? Yes. This is what smell is? It's sweet and sweet. You can smell it. You can pull it out. Look. What is this? This is called Wu Yan Guo. Right. Open the mouth. Yes. 我表情管理不一定那么好，所以我就先给你出来那个，<笑>呃，果子，就这样子就吃了。嗯，无盐果，嗯，会有点酸酸甜甜的。我咬一口行吗？嗯，可以。嗯，好，吃一个看看，嗯，还可以吗？嗯，还可以。嗯嗯嗯 ，cheers cheers cheers， 嗯。嗯。这个是我们野生的这个，呃，长在树上的一种沙药。这个可以吃吗？可以吃啊，小时候我们也会吃这个，但是这个会有一点
，有点苦涩苦涩的。哦，这个是烧着吃的是吗？对，烧着吃的，用火烧吃。啊、oh, ， everything you picked up randomly in the forest are edible. These are edible. You can eat this. You can cook this. Is this stunning view that I have to this? Look at this. Just look at this. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. It is actually. <clears throat> oh, it is so. <sighs> oh, that's so silly. <laughs> I know I was being emotional, but I just thought, how can I get to be so lucky and get to see this? It is always the views, the beauty, the people, the hospitality, the kindness. To travel is kind of like to experience love. It feels vulnerable, yet there is so much beauty and wonder. You feel brave. Your heart is open, and so is the world and many possibilities. I'm just having a look around. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Over the past a thousand and three hundred something years, the Hani people has created a farming system that allows the water to flow from the mountain top to、uh, cascade down to the terraces. So this is actually a very smart farming system that is very adapted to the local environment. There is water from a mountain top. First of all, the water gets transported to the villages and houses that lay at the waist of the mountain, and after people have used the water, that then gets transported back to the terraces. And then all the extra water from the terraces will goes directly to the Red Valley, which is over there. The Red Valley at the Mountain Foot is the place where all of these water get evaporated and transformed into clouds, and then rains, which then flows directly back to the mountain top again. So that is how the circle goes all year round. People also raise buffaloes and ducks and fish and eels in the terraces. This is the place where、uh, these animals would produce waste that. Benefits the crops.、But、the economy here is still pretty much primary. People still grow their own food. They form a small community where everyone knows everyone. Hongha County actually relies a lot on the government funding and a little bit of income from the tourist industry, which is actually not a lot, really. Oh, this is how people hang out here. Oh, they are sourcing the tobacco leaves. There are people getting married tomorrow, and they are preparing for dinner tonight. Man and woman preparing food separately. So this area is for men. Buying some fish from the terrace. I got invited again, but I don't think I am eating anything because I'm having too much of it. <laughs> Of course, the kind Hani ladies would always insist I join, and it would be rude to decline a good heart. Someone once commented to me saying that the reason why people are this kind is because they are poor and their world is smaller.
I don't think that's accurate at all. That's just the personality of many Chinese people. The head of the village invited me to his table, and now we are preparing to toast. In Chinese table culture, you place your glass slightly below the others, especially when you are young and a guest. When your presence depends on other people's goodwill, it is about showing respect. I was actually a bit anxious about the drinking thing because I don't usually drink, but they're very, very respectful of my inability to drink. So I was really glad. <laughs> I left Hongho on a misty day. The thick clouds had filled up the mountains and the valley, injecting it with a different mood from the day I arrived. Maybe that's Hongho's way to make it easier for me to say goodbye. Either way, I'll miss this place and I'll definitely come back. One day. I woke up in the middle of the night Ooh, na -na -na -na. And I wondered how you always write That's why he's right again It gets me Every time you turn your head you know your tired journey I couldn't see what you saw in me But you showed me how to believe Still gets me